Okay, I'm uh, Ben Angolami and, and uh, this is a joint work with my colleague Alphas Hadisami. Um, so, uh, for large scale image retrieval, uh, we need um, a very fast and accurate search algorithm. Um, and in the, actually, in the recent years, ha hashing, based uh, hashing based method has uh, uh, received much attention. So, the, the goal of this paper is to uh, develop a hash learning algorithm that use on a uh, large set of unlabeled set with a few pairwise la uh, labeled points. So the, the main uh, idea is very simple. Uh, the view is a, s a single autoencoder uh, with two modification. First, uh, we modify the, the encoder part. So in uh, standard uh, autoencoder models, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the encoder part just map uh, the, uh, the real observation to real uh, uh, output, but uh, for our hashing method, we use the binary output. And uh, however, uh, since uh, this is a single line auto uh, encoder ca cannot capture the uh, the nonlinear structure of the data, uh, we just uh, first map the uh, uh, observation into, uh, into a nonlinear uh, non feature space, and then uh, uh, apply a, s a single autoencoder into the uh, into the feature space. So, for uh, encoder uh, part, we just use the sign algorithm, sign uh, sign of a uh, sign of a linear function, and for the decoder, uh, just uh, uh, just we use the uh, linear function. So, uh, in this framework, we have some uh, uh, auxiliary information in the uh, in the two sets where the the first set uh, just have uh, we have some uh, some uh, data points that are uh, that are similar and uh, some set that uh, to uh, that we have some uh, data points that are the uh, similar. So we, we define a, a, a regularizer to actually impose the, the the constraint on the parameters to to satisfy this constraint. So uh, the purpose objective fun function is, is as follows where the, the, the first part is the reconstruction term and the second part and the third part are the regularization and we have the, the constraint of the, uh, of the binary codes. For uh, actually optimizing, uh, we use the penalty algorithm and uh, relax the, the constraint and uh, add it to the objective function where mu is the is the constraint parameter that uh, should be increased gradually s uh, so that the, the, the constraint are satisfied uh, for uh, optimizing this uh, function uh, we, uh, we use a, s a single uh, coordinate distance algorithm where we, we fix some parameters and uh, actually optimize over other parameters uh, however as can be seen since uh, the nonlinear function is uh, potentially in, uh, uh, infinite dimensional we, we prove Two, th two theorems to show that uh, by uh, applying kernel trick, actually we can uh, make this optimization tractable. So we tested our, our, our algorithm on three benchmark datasets and with, uh, co uh, with, with comparison with uh, other methods. And this is some of the results uh, for uh, uh, just average precision, as can be seen uh, just by. Uh, by uh, Combining a single autoencoder with the kernel framework, uh, actually, the, 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 uh, we can beat the uh, state of the art algorithm, as, uh, especially the very recently deep, deep, deep network algorithm, which is called CNNH. So, this is for MNICs and this is what the data sets. So, for more detail, come to my poster. Thank you.